It is, Brian, and NASCAR teams have been traveling pretty much nonstop up and down the East Coast since May when the pandemic, uh, post-pandemic and the season was able to restart. But now one team is wondering how their race equipment was basically stolen right out from under them. Austin Cindric wins again. Just hours after the checkered flag at Daytona International Speedway Saturday, the number 47 Chevy Camaro from Mike Harmon Racing was gone after scoring a top 20 in the race. Sunday was, was awful when we woke up and realized that one complete three had completely disappeared. The race car, trailer, truck, and all equipment was stolen sometime early Sunday morning while the team truck driver made a brief stop in Kingsland, Georgia, about 130 miles north of Daytona International Speedway. The team returning Sunday to their shop in Denver, North Carolina, out thousands of dollars. It'd be a 250000 easy, easy. Team owner Mike Harmon says surveillance footage shows someone getting into the truck, appearing to mess with the ignition before driving away with everything down I-95 back towards Daytona. The team is now offering a $5,000 reward for the return of the equipment. You don't feel like you deserve it, and it, it really is feel like somebody ripped your heart out, but you don't have to look very far. To see other people in worse shape, you know, something they can't fight back, we can fight back from this. Now, the equipment was last spotted in Florida, and anyone with information should call their local police department. Now, coming up tonight, all new at 6 o'clock, NASCAR is still racing this weekend. They don't just stop because a race car is stolen. So we'll show you how the team plans to still proceed in Dover, Delaware this weekend. Now reporting live in Charlotte, Brett Baldeck, Fox 46, getting results.